Hi everyone, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, and so, we just finished off Piety. And I guess we're heading to Ebony Barracks. Well, it says oh, here... The scepter of God. It says here, travel to Imperial Garden. So those are the only places we haven't been to yet. It says it's been like a week since I've done this. Apparently they're going to make some changes to the... Um, to the Harbingers. Harbinger League. And so we kind of go on the side here where we see the trees here. Oh, that's right, I was using a wild strike. And I can't remember how much you hated it or not. I mean, this is not something that the duelist picks up by default, obviously. Well, because I, I, I think I needed you to pick it up for me. It wasn't a gem that I just kind of get by default. Right. But I mean, if you start as Ranger, I guess you get it, or, or Scion. A duelist gets it. Uh, not duelist, but uh, Templar gets it. Templar gets it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, because he's all about... some reason. He's all about, well, he's all about that elemental damage, right? Eh, but yeah, I guess he gets a glacial hammer, so it's I mean, kind of like a natural outgrowth. Fuck it, yeah. Literally all about elemental melee damage. Oh. But, but, but Mike, five percent buff to glacial hammer. All right, so there's a couple things. We got to find shit in this plum. We got unlock scepter of god, which is the uh, key we got. Oh, I also have the passive skill point. I forgot about that. Uh, what was I going into? I don't remember actually now. I mean, I think I was at a point where I. Did I just get Mana Leech last time? I think I just yes, got it. Yes, you did. Yeah. So, I mean, we got a couple options. We got some, like, 200 damage here. Uh, we got Iron Reflexes if we want some more armor. We got some life. Honestly, life would probably not be a bad idea. So we're going to probably go for Barbarism, which is, uh, give some resistances too, I guess. Get myself some more survivability, because we're going to actually probably need it very soon. Are we going to go kill Frisius? Emperor's luck. Five <gasps> times currency. Oh man! Only if we get five of those cards. Mike, Ooh. is it time to pay the price? It's always time. Oh no. Are you, are you fighting something? Oh. Apparently. Apparently I'm fighting something. And my minions were on it and I'm just like, well, I figured it would die eventually, but... Yeah. So summoner you are. Hey, no, <laughs> no, okay, don't don't even start with me. My minions were doing their thing. They were doing their thing. All right, so the library, yeah. so I, I'm just going to talk about the, this Where's map your, for a second. Where's your auras? Um, it's called They're Not On, because I forgot. <laughs> uh, so the road always kind of comes up to like a, a waypoint here. And so the road to the left always leads to the library. The road to the right leads to the Scepter of God. And somewhere up here um, is the garden. Which is in another place. Land. Yeah, that's in the other place that's here. Uh, but we're going here. We're going to the library first because that's the easiest way to go. I mean, this is technically an optional quest. I don't even think the reward is even that good anymore. I mean, I I, I don't know. I, I haven't actually done it since they've. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't think I've done this quest in like three patches. Uh, actually, I think you get like a semi-rare gem or something? I mean, you know, on, on the upside, we'd only have to do it once. So who uh, really cares? Uh, that's true. That's actually very true. I'll give you that. Oh yeah, the note I just got was a, um, it gave me plus one to, let me actually show you guys, plus one to maximum fire resistance, which is a uh, important thing to know. Uh, because, I, although it, I don't have capped resistances right now, they're usually capped at uh, 75, and it means I can bring them to 76, and actually that plus one is pretty substantial uh, for later game. Anyways, let's talk to this guy. Please, do not be alarmed. I am neither monster nor murderer, though that is the duality of existence that defines San these days. My name is Yosafuama, and I have the bleak honor of being the sole scholar to the imperious intellection, this grand repository of knowledge you see about you. May reason preserve us. In more mundane circumstances, it would be preposterous to ask this of you, an utter stranger. But given that I don't know in which century I might see another pair of flesh and bone hands, I... there's a door, you see, concealed behind the shelves. It leads into the archives. That's where Isius Perandus concealed his golden pages. Can you see how maddening that would be for me? No, of course you can't. 
ridiculous of me to... Suffice to say that they are beyond my reach. Four varlish texts they are, of priceless historical insight. Please, find my friend's golden pages and bring them to me. You will be rewarded. I vow it before the ancestors. Let's speak again soon. Hi. Hello? Hello. Okay, I was just testing because I, I accidentally didn't have it on um It was playing noises still when I mute, muted you because I'm not used to Discord. Oh, you were still on push attack? Uh, no, it wasn't push attack. Or muted, whatever. I mean, I did, but it made a noise. Oh. So I just wanted to know if I set it up properly. You gotta love Discord. Oh, shit. I normally don't use it at all. Actually, you know, I, I was actually reading his name, like actually reading it. It's like Siosa, and then he actually said his name, and I was trying to read his name as he said it, and it was so fucking confusing. It's unreal. I just called him Siosa. Like, oh god! But he's like, I am Siosa. Um, have fun with that. Yeah. I'm like, what's his name? Samosas. <laughs> Actually, you, you know, we didn't even uh, look at what the box dropped. We kind of just walked past it. I just assumed it opened and it dropped nothing. Yeah, well, you know what? That, that's what we get for assuming. It makes a box out of you and me. Oh, uh, it's uh, well, out of even Tyrannus Maximus or something. I think it's Tyranner. Tyranners. Yeah, exactly. Tyrannersis. I'm just going to make names for everything. The Big Bone Man. The Big Bone Man. The poo poo pee pee man. Then you go here and get the. Dude, I can't get them. through here. I got him. I just fucking jump. Oh, wait, I got that. Never mind. Dude, where'd the ghost go? I, I'm trying to kill him right now. Uh oh. There we go. Oh, a ball. Sword. And a sword. Alright. Oops. I don't want to bring up my style of things yet. Oh, yeah, someone asked me about my, um,. Uh, they, they noticed I put on a, a little special pet to follow me around. Um, uh, oh, we can't really see because of the fucking mess of graphics, so just, we'll just, just wait. Turn, just turn it off. Oh, it's yeah, not like right. it does anything, anyway. You, you, can't, you can't turn it off. I forgot you can right-click that. Right here. A little special kiwi. Aw, he's adorable. I, I didn't mention it when I first put it on, but it's like, it was basically like, um... Uh, when the, when the game was in closed beta, it was a, uh, supporter pack that they had. Uh, so you can't get it anymore. It's, it's for people who uh, supported the game from closed beta or something. So what it sounds like to me is you are a corporate Kickstarter shield. I mean, it's not even Kickstarter and it's not even corporate, so not even close. I'm not reading this. It's too Aww. long. But it's the Purity Chronicles, obviously, that's going to be just been written by like somebody with complete sanity. Oh, a loose candle. Here we go. <clears throat> so, well, I i mean, they also want to see the fact that I have, where's the, the sellout microtransactions here? So, I got Kiwi Pet and uh, about 26 chickens. Why do I have 26 chickens? Who knows? And apparently a Weta Pet. Ooh, Good. I've got a, I love my Weta. So, I have a, I have a Weta Pet here, too. Oh, you have a baby Weta, look at mine. Yeah, I, I, that's why I, hope, that's why I, I hope nobody's afraid of bugs. Yeah, it's just a giant bug thing. It's a cockroach! I mean, I have a bunch of, like, skins and stuff, but I figured I, I wouldn't make this complicated. Like, a lot of this is, like... Don't Google Cannibal Weta. Just, just don't. Uh, right. I, I wasn't planning on it. Well. I, I didn't want to add, like, some insane, like, looking armor or something, you know? You don't uh, want to break your immersion? I mean, I, I saw it's really heavy, like, graphically. And I, I maybe I'll put some shit on, like, at, for the end. I see the exclamation mark at the top there through the walls, but... Yeah, that's something that they actually added in 3.0 when they redid the map. You can see, like, quests and doors and talking to people from a fairly substantial distance away. Look, look, look at that. We don't even, even, like... Like, we haven't even caught wind of Tora's stench, and we can see her, like, three doors over. Her stench. Look, that woman spends all her time outside. You're gonna smell her before you see her. Uh-huh. Okay. But point being, it, it's a bit absurd at the distance it shows you things, man. Alright, that's one golden page. Like, I, I have the corner map, right? And I can still see that, like, t upper corner page just 
being blared on my map. They, they casualized it like Diablo 3. Did we ever talk about Diablo 3 or no? I don't know, I never played Diablo 3 because you told I, me it was bad. It is bad. It is so oh. bad. Over here, exile. Uh, you, you've played, um, what's the other game? Torchlight? Uh, Grim Grim Torchlight. Dawn? I know, I know you played Helsing? Torchlight. I mean, we both played Torchlight. We tried, we, we tried Torchlight and, uh... Didn't, didn't we get through like an act and a half? We got through like an act and a half and just got, the skills got boring. Like, I, I, I kind of... I mean, as the great as... was so strong, it was ridiculous. It was, but the, the, I'll say that the one thing I don't like about the, these old, uh, the older ARPGs is the fact they always have that thing where it's like, you gotta, you gotta decide on a skill, you don't know if it's good or not, but you have to basically invest, like, fucking 20 points into it, and then, and then you determine at the end if it was worth your time or not. Um, is that why you like this, where you can literally just pop out a skill if you don't like it, and you're like, eh... I don't like Lacerate today. <laughs> you know, let's you, use Spectral Throw. You know, you joke, but you know, you know, Diablo Three. You literally can change skills at any point in time. Like, it's, wait, really? Yeah, like there's no gems involved. There's no leveling. All the all the spell damage based upon your weapon DPS in that in that See, game. Because I played Diablo Two, and changing skills was like a hassle and a half. Uh, yeah, not in Diablo Three. They fixed. They uh, well, let me let me do finger quotes. They fixed it. <laughs> As in, they they made it ex like they they removed any sort of like hardcore element from it, like from making mistakes and builds and things like that. Like in in this game, it's more like you know, we're, we're, I'm playing more of like a generic two-handed melee character. And but like if I don't like a skill, I can change it. Here's uh, Intellectual's Prime, and I'm just beating his face in apparently. He he died for our college tuition. Wait, what it? Oh, Tor wanted us to hunt down infected beasts. I don't, know, do we... I don't. I don't think we've seen a single one yet, have we? I. I don't think so, actually. I got just got destroyed. Hello. Oh, there's a colossal life blast there. What am I up to? Okay, I have giants, so I wouldn't be against that. I have grands. I have giants. You want a giant? Yeah, it sounds good. There you go. I give you the poison one. All right, we got to return the. Pages, but I think we should probably do Tora's little mission. I mean, it, we've got a little glowy circle on us telling us exactly where to go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We should probably do it. Our sense of smell must be amazing. My spirit is spent. Or I have a, I'll have a ton of uh, do, do all the damage, but Resident Infected Beast. So yeah, Diablo Three, man. Okay, so I mean, I can. I can go on with like a lot of the problems I have with that game. I mean, the thing is, I did it for YouTube, and I'm very sad to say at the end of that, I, I thought I liked it, and I it, it's because I didn't do another playthrough of it. Uh, Return to Master, where is she? Oh, there she is. She's right here. Yeah, it was um, it was not good because <laughs> it was it lost a lot of its random element. Like it's it's weird to say, but like I actually miss a lot of the random elements that Path of Exile has. But we gotta talk to this guy now. By the ancestors, it's good to see fresh words in front of me. Now, my translation skills are not what Isius were. I can achieve a meager paraphrase at best. But a little knowledge is better than none, is it not? Let us begin. This tapestry of truth is a threadbare cloth indeed, but at least you have allowed me to begin the first few stitches in its restoration, and to settle the memory of a dear friend. In return, allow me to give you this, a little practical wisdom to improve your lot. Mm. All right, we got life leech, fortify, blood magic, or uh, hypothermia. Uh, hypothermia. Yeah, I wouldn't go with hypothermia with this character. Uh, leech isn't a bad option. Fortify is an extremely good option, and blood magic is. Uh, yeah, I don't think anyone really needs it because we have we have mana leech, so we don't need blood magic. Mm. Uh, and it's, just, and it's just another jewel socket to use for not damage, which is just yeah. meh. That's why we don't do that, really. Um, so, I mean, 
I'm gonna probably go with Fortify just because I'm gonna use it anyways at some point, and Life Leech I may not because I have enough Leech as it is. Fortune fades. So, but this one we're gonna have to level on the side, but I don't have any sockets for that, so. Rest in pepperonis, I'll just put in my stash. Not like it really it really benefits from being leveled. But generally Fortify is a um, kind of sub ability they've made to kind of like help melee builds out. And Fortify, it says here uh, it doesn't tell you what it, what Fortify is, but you can basically get like five seconds of uh, what is it like twenty five percent damage reduction. Yes, it's twenty five percent damage reduction from hits. Yeah, now do. hits is anything that actually just it hits to, you. It's not a degen. It has to hit right. you. Right. So it doesn't work against poison. But the good thing is that if you get any buff effect from the tree, which there is near the duelist, a circle of uh, stuff that increases the effect of fortify. You can actually get it up to like 30, 35 percent less damage taken from hits, which is nifty. My mall has uh, uh, increased physical damage. Uh, sorry, uh, no, sorry, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's not really anything. I'd hope it would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, Jesus. No. Uh, this mall has increased damage with bleeding. I, I actually haven't seen that stat before. Yeah, they added a lot of new stats in 3.0. Oh yeah. Don't do anything. Trying to see if I've got any weird crap on my. Equipment, which I do not. I'm just gonna throw this uh, fortify support in the stash here for myself. Oh yeah. man, check up with uh, Clarissa or whatever her name is over here. She's got Ciosa's jewels now. Yes. Oh, which is she? more than what Ciosa actually has. Oh, less duration is here. Okay. Oh, and generosity. Oh, there's a couple of good ones here. Less duration, reduced mana. There's actually a mana leech uh, support, but that's really like... If you're using that, Man. then you probably should approach things differently. Or use it on a sub-ability, like uh, something secondary that you still use from yourself, so that way you can still get the benefits of the mana leech without having to you know, waste all your time. Alright, we're taking uh, less duration. Uh, where's my... Oh, man, really? I didn't realize I had Wild Strike on this setup here. Uh, I, I was thinking to myself, yeah, I'll go do like freaking. Uh, uh, I was just thinking to myself, I'd I'd put some gems together, do like proper earthquake, but uh, that may not actually happen. What do you mean may not happen? Uh, because I don't have uh, I don't I don't have a four link for well uh, any kind of links for boots that are red. I mean, I have a four socket boots here, I'd but that ain't not really any good. That's why. Yeah. That's why I keep try and keep an eye out for like four four lengths and things like that because it is so good. You have no oh, wait. peace with our land. For now, my spear is lower. I just realized we never well, talked to anyone fine. in Act Two when we finished it. So, well, fuck those guys. <laughs> Whatever. I'm talking to them anyways. Humanity has one redeeming trait: we learn from our mistakes. You certainly gave us a scare for a bit there, but the damage doesn't seem to have been lasting. Thank you for doing the right thing. Fare you well. Thank you for returning our reality to us. I think we've all had a glimpse of what could happen if Piety tries to harness the power of the Val for her own ends. Farewell. Alright. Uh, I, I still want to talk to them. Yeah. What do they have to say, actually? I don't know, I'm just like... Thank you for returning reality to us, essentially. Aww. Exactly. Alright, well, we'll keep less duration around as well, which uh, is also something that would be good to have. I'm thinking about switching out to either Cyclone or Lacer uh, back to Lacerate or something. Oh, Cyclone is so good. Oh my god, I love Cyclone so much. I mean, Wild Strike is neat, but... Oh, well, okay, fine, I'll try. I'll put, I'll put Cyclone back on. All right, and oh, then yeah. now back to Imperial Gardens. Oh, uh, oh wait, apparently we've been out of this instance so long that it resets. So now we, now we uh, it, it's a fairly straightforward area, though. It's like I said. There's always the waypoint is always at this fork in the road here, so we need to find the uh, uh, the garden. It's usually kind of up this in, in, in this direction, but it, it oh, yeah, there it is. I mean, it's right there. Who would have thought? A near hedge maze. It's not garden. Well, it's like <laughs> but there's two things in this area: solve a tri trial of ascendancy and uh, 
guess that's basically it. Oh, the, the, the chitness plum, of course, the thing that Pat never does. Hey, you know what? Fairgra Fairgraves is a dick. I don't like helping him. How many times has he betrayed us? Alright. You know what? I can't do Cyclone, because the, 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 I don't. I didn't realize that. It's like literally a mana vampire. Like, <laughs> I have I have no fucking left-click skill, okay, so... This guy is throwing bombs at us, mate. Come on. Are you just... Wait, why? Oh, I can't lacerate with this. I was about to say, All it's right. like you're just hitting him with a regular attack. But, oh, back, back to fucking... I, I was trying to do that to get a... Uh, uh, my shit back. I'll show everyone what that I mean, is. Neither of us wants it, but... Alright, so this is a uh, curse, uh, curse gem uh, buckler. Uh, and it's like, it increases curse duration by, like, dou literally doubles the length of the curse, and that's it. Does it not give, like, levels to curses or anything anymore? Yeah, I thought, well, plus what do they do to it? Plus one, that's it. Here, you can have it. I don't give a shit. Oh! I don't think I'm not gonna use it, but thank you. Yeah, I'm running so, haste now, by the way. So I can't use last rate because, um, uh, because I I just realized that it was a uh, it's a Bladed sword weapon. ability. <laughs> yeah, I'm using a mace right now. Maybe I should go back like, to Sunder. How can you slice the air with a mace? That just it just don't make sense. I, I really need a four link now. Dude, why is why is cyclone so expensive? It's because like you, 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 you're trying to, are you trying to use it like short range? You need to use it like on a long distance thing. Is that what the problem is? Yeah. Because you, you use it once and you go a long distance, but if you use it just right at your feet, and he uses all of them, yeah. I mean, maybe I, I, I mean, I've never really done a build with it, so I won't lie. See, like that. The Emperor must know precisely where he stands. Alright, there you go. Oh my god, that's the last one! It says here to enter the labyrinth, but we actually never do that uh, right away. Uh, we do it a little bit into uh, a little act bit into, like, uh, a little bit into Act Four, yeah. Because uh, there's really no rush with it. It's still gonna be there. Um, I would just it's, say it's actually pretty tough too. I would say you just do the labyrinth before you do Act uh, uh, before you finish Act Five. At, at, if you're having difficulty with it. Uh, in, the, in the current state of the game, that's that's the best thing to do. Okay, it's still not it's still not good, Pat. Okay, you know what? That's fine. I, I'm that's still running out of mana occasionally. I, I don't even know why. I think it's because it's little hits. I mean, it does give like 70% less damage on the first hit, so you have to actually do it over a long thing. And I think you might be moving too fast because the slower your movement speed, the more hits you get in over a short amount of time. Um, all, all I can tell you is I hate it. And I, I am giving you haste, which is making you run faster, which is actually probably making Cyclone worse. Okay, it, it may not be the worst for everybody, but it's the worst for me. You don't like it. I like Cyclone, but I also like everything that's bad. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. much. So don't you don't you hate it now? Because they actually made this fucking movement like not not total dog shit. Did you even show that off? The fact that you can do that. Do what? You can like go around corners with Cyclone now. I mean, I mean, it's. I mean, you can, kind of, now. I, I mean, I, I've been playing with it all this entire time, I'm not getting stuck on like little every little thing. So, right, here's Chitness Plum. But isn't that amazing? Like, come on, you gotta admit that's actually pretty legitimately amazing. I mean, it's ha it has like AI pathfinding. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think anybody knows any better. Alright, uh, let's see. I think I want more life. It's either I go to the Scion Life Wheel or I just get the more life that's local to me. I'm gonna get the life that's actually just local to me. Alright. So now I need to go back to the docks to give him the plum. Where's the plum? Uh, oh, sorry, it's, it was at the docks. Here he is. Alright. Look at the sheen on that plum. Is it not the most delectable fruit that you've ever seen? No. Perhaps the glass of hope is for my eyes only. Wondrous! Nothing bonds two souls more soundly than murder. For that reason alone, I knew could be relied upon. Now, for a little amateur vintnering, a quick squeeze of the plum like so into the decanter. Oh my! Look how it transmutes the juice so swiftly. 
from material to spectral. Effortless. And what an aroma. Imminent death never smelled so sweet. I believe I shall call this fine concoction the Imperial Nightcap. Now, before I get too carried away, there's the small matter of your recompense. Alright, let's see the reward here. Uh, uh, call, you either get a call ring, a Paul ring, or a gloat ring. Uh, you go for the life ring every time. E a toast to swift endings and promising new beginnings. Oh, and you might want to avert your gaze once I have quaffed this diabolical brew. I doubt that my return to solidarity will be a pretty one. Right. As I used to say in the love dens of Trafus, bottoms up, girls! Oh, my. Now, that's an unusual sensation. I... Oh, dear. Something is amiss. The whole frame. It's... No! No, 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 it's gone out! What am I... What are you? No, you, you cannot be. I will not... I kind of wonder about that dialogue he says at the end there. You, what, you mean the... Oh, or he, the... he asks, what are you? I, I, You know what, that is kind of weird. I just kind of always figured that he just spent so long talking that the little light and his little all flame went out, but... I mean, that kinda, does kind of feel like there's something more to it. I mean, that's not, we're not even memeing you right now. I literally don't know. I, I, I don't either. It, it, he kind of just, like, says something random. It's weird.